us pray. Our Father, we want to thank you for, for grace. Thank you for the opportunity uh, that we can gather like this to be encouraged, to be informed, because information is very important, because you are the God of knowledge yourself, and you told us to the need for us to search for the truth. We thank you for your your, your son and your daughter that you'll be using to uh, inform us of the needful medical and health uh, information this uh, this evening. Lord, use them for your glory. And thank you, Lord, for uh, 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 Sister Shari that has been prayed for. O oh God of peace, set to into her, O oh Lord, grant her that peace. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Quickly, let's open our Bible to Exodus chapter 15. Exodus chapter 15 from verse 23. It is very, very important. Jehovah Rapha is the topic of this short admonition. In Exodus chapter 3, sorry, chapter 15, if you read it from verse 23, and when they came to Mara, they could not drink of the waters of Mara. Why? For they were bitter. So the waters in Mara were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Mara. And the people, verse 24, murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? Verse 25, And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. I'm sure that sounds familiar. Remember the case of Elisha, when the, uh, the, the, the head of the hacks, the hacks head fell into the water. What Elisha did was to what? Cut a tree. So here, Moses was shown a tree, which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made for them a statue and an ordinance, and there he proved them. Now, verse 26, And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. I mean, if you look at the case study, you may be surprised what connection does that have with verse 26. And this verse 26 is what most of us quote out of context. Oh yes, the Lord is a God that healeth us, but if you really want to do justice to this reference, there is need for you to understand the scenarios. Verse 23, verse 24, verse 25. And that now led to the instruction that the Almighty God gave the children of Israelite that if they will diligently, not just listen, but diligently hearken, to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give his to his commandments. So that those those um, outlines, I mean those uh, 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 you know the action words like diligently hacking. Number one, uh, do that which is right. Number two, give ears to his commandment. Number three, these are actions. And these are things that are missing in our Christian life. We are careless with our Christian life. And, and he went further to say that I will put none of the diseases upon thee, which I have brought. It's as if the sources of most diseases are from the Lord, all right, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. Why? For I am the Lord that he let thee. We, we can't just read those verses and assume that, okay, it's one of those promises. No, yes, it's one of those promises, but that comes with uh, conditions. Now, briefly, from these uh, three verses, or one, two, three, four verses, let's come out or come up with important instructions that has to do with our health. Number one, Mara. What does Mara stand for? Mara from this passage stands for bitter. Mara scripturally stands for sin. 
Mara stands for anything negative that can trigger or that triggers negative effects in our physical life. Now, in this case study, it triggered the water to be bitter. Mara, beware of Mara in your life. Literal Mara, poison. I mean, drink, food, the air you breathe in, if they are Mara, they will cause problem into our system, wherever we go. That's why those of us who are in this part of the world, we kind, we kind of enjoy uh, uh, environmental cleanliness. But some people in other part of the world, the air they breathe in, the, 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 the water they drink, even the food they eat, everything is Mara. And if that is the case, Mara from this context causes diseases, causes ill health. So we need to get rid of that anything Mara in our life. Then spiritually as well, when there are some Mara elements, Mara people, Mara places that we go, Mara ideology we open, uh, expose ourselves to, it will lead to spiritual sickness. Then mentally, psychologically as well, if we expose ourselves to anything Mara, it's obviously going to make us sick. And, and, and you know what? Ignorance is also Mara. Oh, the fact that you don't know that something is a poison and you eat it and you drink it. Oh, come on. It's going to cause negative effects in our health. So that is why this consultation, uh, this evening, you need to be attentive, not only to know what are your medical or health rights or privileges as uh, residents of, of Hungary at this time of your life, but also some, I want to believe, will be able to get some instructions as to what to do or what not to do. The kind of feed our, our eating lifestyle, or all these are Mara. Now, number two, if you look at verses 24, this, the other verse, and the people murmured against Moses. We are reading Exodus 15. And the people murmured against Moses. That, another thing that we can come up here is attitude. When you have wrong attitude towards things, when you have wrong attitude emotionally, psychologically, you know, some people, they, they just have, they, 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 they give negative attitude to issues and that will now compound the problem. Yes, it's bitter. The ideal thing in a good setting is to seek for solution or make inquiry. But the people were, were like murmuring, wrong attitude. And, and one thing is that, we need to understand is that sometimes though when people are sick when people are diseased you know disease is actually d i put an i thing e a s e you know to be at ease emotionally ease psychologically ease physically ease is good but when we have wrong attitude it will now bring d i in front that is d is that is opposite of being at ease is disease spiritual disease relational disease mental disease health disease psychological disease we need to ask ourselves what are those things what are those things in our life that trigger di in the ease of our lives these are the mara S situations stress Fear, wrong information, wrong feeding, wrong eating, uh, all right? Uh, uh, failure to do exercise or to do uh, other medical things that we are, we are going to be informed today. All this will add a DI in front of the EASE of our life. So please, brethren, let us be... Please, can you mute your mind, brother, Ibe, please? All right. So DI, you have to you have to make sure that we are aware. Thank God for the environment we are. The environment we are are very conscious. We are not even talking about Christianity now. They are very conscious of these things. Wash your hand, sanitize, do this. Don't litter the floor. Some of us, our homes are so so dirty. We hardly clean our rooms. We hardly uh, uh, Hoover, we hardly do these things. We hardly even wash our clothes. We hardly dress well or, 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 or do all the needful. So these are the things 
that will have a di in front of the necessary ease of our lives so attitude here is part of those things that trigger that now look at verse 25 exodus 15 25 and moses and he cried unto the lord and the lord showed him a tree showed him a tree uh you know we know that uh, galatians chapter 3 verse 18 says christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law how for he hanged on the tree and 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 for this for the bible christian for christians three stands for the cross where the lord jesus died anybody that is diseased anybody that is sick anybody that is you know distressed anybody that has uh, I mean, what easiness of life has been stolen or has been polluted, uh, and, and, and you know, psychologically, mentally, uh, there are no, no comfort, no easiness. I mean, we have loads of people who are diseased all over the world, even in the scripture. Even maybe some of us may be going through some disease at the moment. We need to understand that there is solution at the cross. Bodies are lifted at Calvary. 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 The Lord Jesus Christ had paid the price. All you need to do is to seek him. I mean, not just seek him with your head. No, you have to seek him uh, with your heart because anybody that is sick will go any length to be healed. But don't go far. You are in Christ. You are in a Christian setting. Seek the healing virtue on the cross of Calvary. In Isaiah chapter 53 verse 3, Isaiah 53 verse 3 says, by his stripe we are healed. By his stripe. And, and you know, the, the stripe of Jesus, the shedding of Jesus' blood, the crucifixion of Jesus were all connected to the tree. Alright? And in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24 repeated the same thing that, uh, that was said in Isaiah 53 verse 3, by his stripe past things we were healed so when anyone is going through any disease or sicknesses please remember calvary has the solution now the the, the fourth thing because of time is um, as a result of the tree that he puts in the water it turns to sweetness when you allow the tree of life to be included in your, in your case the sickness will go. I know you may be hearing this all the time. I know it's easier to say this now. Oh, it's easier to talk about healing and prayer when somebody is not sick. But well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that there is healing power in the cross where the Lord Jesus Christ shed his blood. It's not, it's nothing, you don't get too used to it. That's a solution. The blood of Jesus the name of Jesus, the, the, the shielding of his blood, by his stripe, we are healed. Thank God for our sister that has been prayed for. I mean, supernaturally, you will sleep well tonight. You, the, the, the ease of heaven will settle on you tonight. And that depression will evaporate from your life. In the name of Jesus. Now let's look at the, the, the fourth one, verse 26. We are talking of Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals, the God that restores us back to our ease. You know, Rapha means that heal or that restores. And this is who the Jehovah we serve stands for. Now verse 26, let's conclude with verse 26. Uh, he said, and, and if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, condition number one, and will do that which is right in his sight, condition number two, and will give ear to his commandment, condition number three. And uh, he said, and I will put none of the diseases, of, uh, I will put none of the diseases upon thee which I have brought upon 
the Egyptians. Why? For I am the Lord that healeth thee. In essence, number four thing we need to understand here is the need for obedience. No, no, you cannot be toying with sin and still expect supernatural healing. No. Oh, no, no. Somebody like the woman with the issue of blood. Somebody like Naaman. I'm sure they won't, they won't even dare toy with sin when they know that sin is the source of their problems. You have to really be obedient. That is what the Lord is saying here. You know, because as I said, if you just read verse 26 in isolation, you know, you are not doing justice to that, to that context. You have to read 24, 23, 24, 25 to be able to understand the conclusion in 26. Then the other aspect in, in from verse 26 is that if you give positive response to the things of God, health-wise, the Lord said, it will shield us. That's profound. Obedience. Then, the fifth thing based on that verse is that there will be shielding of our health, that is a coverage. Our children, our family, our soul, spirit, and body will be covered as a promise. And you now ask me why? And God said, because he is the Jehovah Rapha, the God that healeth. Despite the fact that he can heal, he's saying, avoid disease, avoid sickness. Yes, sickness can be satanic. Sickness can be demonic, the same thing. Sickness can be due to ignorance. Sickness can be accidental. Sickness can be def- ignorant, you know, because you, were not, you did not know. Regardless of, you need the God that heal it. Now, listen, the point is this. When Egyptian, the Israelite left Egypt, the Lord told them not to, uh, you know, it, there was a lifestyle in Egypt. So when they left, he now told them, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Don't eat like this. Don't. In short, the book of Leviticus is all about the manual for food. Don't eat this because the, the strange land that the Israelites were migrating to, they don't know what they eat there. They don't, you know, they don't know what were there. So the book of Leviticus and, and instructions like this now is to guide them to, be, to, to, to ensure that they have the necessary medical information. Dietary information, environmental information. And I pray as you listen tonight, you jot things down, you search your own lifestyle. The Lord will deliver us from every ignorance and every agent that is causing the eye in front of the easiness of our body, of our soul, of our, our psychology, our emotional, our relationship. The Lord will deliver us from them in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for what you have pointed to us tonight from Exodus 15, 23 to 26. We are so grateful that you are the God that heals us. We are happy. But Father, grant us grace to be obedient to you, to hearken unto you, and to do what you have told us in your word and what you'll be telling us tonight. And we pray, O oh God, against every form of sicknesses or diseases among us. As your, your, your daughter has led us to pray, O oh Lord, we are making Shari as a point of contact to all that are being diseased across the center, national. Let your healing power, let your stripe heal us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.